Hello and welcome. My name is Matthew Marquit, and this is the fifth video in the Beginner's Guide to Construct 3. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about platforms, uh, mainly in this case, one way and moving platforms. Now, moving platforms should be obvious, but one way platforms basically mean platforms that you can jump from underneath and then land on top of. So let's start off with the one way platforms. Now, I'm going to make the room look a little bit better right now. I just have the two floors, but we're going to actually add a wall to the scene here. So I'm going to click back on my tile map over here. I'm going to grab grab uh let's see let's grab i believe this sitting on tile number six and we're going to go to paint that in and i'm going to mirror it so let's go grab the mirror tool and i'm not gonna see i'll go up start from this one we'll use a transition between the two of these so they don't look odd like you see how they beat up you know meet up there they don't look good so we'll go start from here just paint all the way up whatever go out into the scene out of the scene and now I'll grab my transition, which uh, any of these will work. You can grab any of these and just mirror them if needs be. This one obviously needs to be mirrored and flipped. So I'll do that, and there we go. Now it looks right. Just remember to hit mirror and flip again so you don't get confused when your other tiles aren't lining up right. But we'll grab this right here, connect it, and now we got a little corner piece. Okay, so there's a little corner piece. Uh, you'll see why I need this in a moment, or logically we'll need this in a moment. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a platform. Uh, I'm going to click, double click, go in here with a sprite. So we're going to add a sprite and it's going to look like a platform. So we'll just click on here. And, uh, for this, I'm going to go to, in the super platform engine, we have assets, objects, uh, let's see, platforms. And in this case, I'm going to use, uh, just the platform.png. Okay. And hit open. So it looks like this, and this is why I wanted a wall. So it kind of makes sense that it's uh, butted up against the wall. Of course, you can always mirror it and do whatever. Now I'm going to rename this um, obviously you can name it whatever you want I'm not going to use it in any you know special um, event so you can literally name it any way you want but I'm going to do platform um, and then uh, let's see so yeah platform and then I'll do underscore one and then way Okay, so we know, and the reason why I'm doing platform first and then one way instead of calling it one way platform is that when we do moving platforms, they can also call it platform underscore moving, and now they'll be alphabetically next to each other, so your platforms are close. So there it is, you can put it anywhere you want. Now, obviously, if we were, and we've already learned this in the past, if we go to behaviors, add behavior into a solid, right, and I go in with the player and try to jump into it, problem with the solid, of course, is that you hit your head on the bottom of it. Now, I'm actually hitting my head down here because we haven't played with the collision. If I go into the collision object and make it just the size of this it would work better um, but whatever you know still sells that I'm getting my head stuck on it when I jump and that's a little high anyways so I'm gonna have to shrink that down um, or not shrink it down but lower it a bit so we'll lower it a little bit here so that clearly doesn't work so what we want to do is get rid of this behavior so we can click on the add edit behaviors on this behavior just hit delete right and you can get rid of it so that's how you can get rid of behaviors and other things okay now we're gonna add a new one instead though so this one we're gonna add and there actually is a behavior that is just as simple and it's called it's just called one way right so um uh jump through sorry not one way it's called jump through that's why i couldn't find it uh right here jump through so we'll double click on that and bam now if we hit play so instead of my head knocking into it i can jump and go through it and then land on top of it right so there you go. Now, I might want to fix the collision. It looks like I'm floating slightly. So obviously, you can just double click, come in here, uh, click on the collision, and drop it down. So you see how it's floating just a little bit. So we can shrink it down so it lines up better with that. And we can shrink um, this part down, too. So these two, um, and not, uh, not shrink it down, but kind of pull it in a little bit more. And that's fine. This will be a button in the wall, so I guess it really doesn't matter. So that's good enough. And uh, now, if I was to hit play, we should, of course, now just land flat on it, all right? So if you want to drop the collision a little bit more, it looks like, I don't know if his feet color, no, his feet color are dark. You can drop it probably just one more pixel so he isn't floating, but you get the idea, okay? So that's how you can create that. That's a one-way platform, pretty simple. Um, so you know how to do just normal platforms, just put a solid. You want it the one-way platform, it's called jump through. Okay, and uh, lastly, uh, for this video, this video is going to be actually pretty short, obviously, um, we're going to do a moving platform. So let's do that. So let's add a sprite that represents a moving platform. Double click in here, go over to sprite. Okay, and I'll maybe I'll stick it like maybe like right here or something, right? So we'll click it right there, and I'm going to load that one in. And so in the same folder here, he's got a couple of other platforms he's made. This one makes the most sense. It's called the moving platform two. We're, excuse me, we're going to grab this one. And uh, there you go. It just looks like this. It's nothing complex. I mean, you guys can easily make something like that yourself. So we're going to have that in there. There's our moving platform. Now, you don't have to do this next step, but to me it makes the most sense, right, is we're going to actually bring in another image too, and it's called the move underscore string. Um, and uh, let me show you what that is in a moment. So let's add a new object, and we will do a new sprite. 
and uh, we'll just click in somewhere around where that object is. Actually, you know what? We're not going to do a sprite. Never mind, never mind. Let me uh, delete this out. We actually want to tile the background. So, sorry. What I'm going to do is try that again. Double click. And now we're going to do a tile the background. And you'll see why that's important in a second. So, we'll click tile the background. And then I'll click right here. We'll load this up. And now I will choose the move string. So, here it is the move string. So, it's really just a tiny little image. But it needs to be set as a tile background. So, like, like I said, you'll just see it's just basically four pixels, right? And uh, this is why it works. So with this, it looks a little silly like this. But if we shrink it down, right, and then we rotate it in this case, because we're going to have a, a left to right movement. I'm holding shift to snap to angles as I rotate. So if you hover out here and you grab an object and you rotate it and you hold shift, you'll see it snap to certain angles. It makes it a little easier to get a perfectly straight line. Of course, if you want a moving platform that goes up and down, you can do the same thing, right? We can just rotate it this way. But this is going to give the player a little bit of a clue to, um, whoops, I'm grabbing my uh, um, my tile, tile map there. So let's switch this off. Um, but yeah, oh, and by the way, too, let's rename these too. So with this one we'll call this one remember we did platform for the other things though so platform and then we'll do underscore moving and then with this uh with this other sprite the one that is this dotted line one we're going to come in here and we'll rename that one also and we'll just call also call it platform platform underscore path you can just do m path for moving or just path since there's no other thing that has to deal with that and there's the path so this should just it be for like the player's sake and we can click on it over here but this should be um Whoops, let me see. Did that? Did I grab the wrong one? Oh, yeah, I totally grabbed the wrong one. This was the blank one. Sorry. Let me just copy that real fast. So we'll copy pl platform path. I was wondering why the heck I couldn't select it. We'll delete it. Yes, goodbye. And then we'll rename the tiled background right to that. So control V, paste that in. All right, super. So now this I can grab and we can put it, you know, basically where we think the path of the object will be. Now, typically what you want to do, because what we're about to do is we're going to put a behavior on that will have the platform move. And what you want is you want to center it uh, your your basic your path here you want to center it on the object because the way this behavior works is it will move it left and right from the basically the center point so we're going to do this now represent like I said just gives the player just a little bit of clue of how far it moves so they're not guessing now you don't have to do this as I already mentioned but it helps now I'm also going to drop the opacity of this so the default opacity is at 100 we want it to be just kind of falling out in the background a little bit more so we'll set it to 30 and I'm also going to send it to the back right so we'll click right here because I don't want it to be in the front and actually you know let's just yeah let's just do that we'll go right in here and we'll do z order and we'll send uh to the bottom of the layer okay now it went uh it went all the way back so what we'll do is i'll actually do this and this is kind of the odd thing if you have the full version you can do the z layer you know order and, and move things around nicely now you kind of have to finagle it when you don't because all you can do is send all the way back or all the way to front so what you typically do is you'll send to say something like the tiled background we'll do this and we'll we'll send to right all the way to the back right so send to the bottom so that's uh, on the bot. Well, yeah, that should be on the bottom, right? And I don't know why the uh, the tile map disappeared, but we'll try that again. So we'll do right. Send the bottom a layer. There we go. Okay, so that's what I wanted it to do to send the background back. I don't know why I did that if I had tile map selected by mistake or something. But anyway, now we should have it to where you know this is all the way in the back, and then this thing is just in front of it. So the path is just in front of it. So we want the platform in front of these dotted lines, not the dotted lines in front of the path. Okay. So now we'll grab the actual path, the moving path, and this is how you add or basically make it to move. So we'll come over here. To to the behaviors we'll click on this add behavior and we're going to choose sign so come down here and you'll see sign we'll choose that and hit add okay and we'll shut it off and here are some of the important things to keep in mind so the movement is where you choose where you want it to be horizontal or vertical in this case we want it to be now these other ones will do other things that like they'll squish it and smush it and, and you know you can even change opacity and angle using this you'll actually see we'll do this later uh, with the arrows but um, in the meantime the only things that are important as far as the uh, moving platforms are concerned is the horizontal and vertical so we're going to leave it horizontal because that's what we want it to do is move left and right now the 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 wave is basically how it moves I'm just going leave it on sign okay so it changes the type of movement okay now the period so in this case right here where it says period it's four um, the period is the speed okay and so lower is actually faster which is you know basically meaning this is how long it takes to do the complete rotation of going all the way left all the way right and then back again 
Okay, so that's why it's smaller. That means like there's less time for it to go, and that's why it's fast. Now, um, we can leave it at four for now, and we'll see how that affects it, and then we'll play with that in a moment. And then the magnitude is basically the distance, and obviously in this case, the longer it is, it will go. So the speed is how fast it will go, um, and the magnitude is the distance. Now, if you don't even touch the speed, but you increase the magnitude a whole ton, it'll look like it goes faster, because remember, now it's got to travel farther in the same period of time. So those are the things to remember. Now, um, the original position of the platform like I said, in the center point is basically the midpoint of its movement. So just remember that. So the midpoint doesn't like start going this way and then come back to its original. It moves and then comes back and then goes back to the center, right? So that's pretty much how it works. So let's hit play and see what it does, right? And actually... <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. I just guessed, and it pretty much works perfectly. Now, the thing is, right now, remember, I didn't put any other uh, things on it, so I can't jump on it. Okay, so you can either make it a solid so that you can't jump underneath it and up through it, or if you want, you can also do a jump through or one way on that too. Just the same. I'll do a, uh, the, the jump through on it also so we can add another behavior, and we'll come in here, add behavior, and we'll do jump through. And now it should have a solid effect to it. So now I can come up here and then jump on it, and we can move along with a little platform, right? And like I said, I just got super lucky uh, with the uh, with the defaults working there and just guessing so that it gave me a thing. But obviously, just so we can show it, if I drop this from four to one and the magnitude to like 100, you'll see it'll go stupid fast and a lot farther. So now we'll come in here. It's like bam, bam, right? So clearly, we don't want it to do that. This would be a real pain. Whoops, of course, I fell. You can't really die because we don't have death yet. Um, but there you go. So we wouldn't want to do that. So obviously, as I had before, period four and magnitude 50, and that was fine. So that's basically it. There's your one-way platforms, right? Or you jump through platforms you can land on. Uh, your moving platforms. And remember, you can just set it to vertical and do the same thing. Just rotate this tiling background uh, to kind of show the distance uh, or whatever. And um, there you go. So hopefully, once again, that this video helps you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.